Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, stalkers, survivors, and outcasts of the zone. Here is Vasya Baronski, live from your favorite <coughs> and only. Thank you, Zlatusha, and only Bunker TV. Okay, now straight to business. Let's make a quick recap of the events at October Blast. The capitalistic tectonic looters embraced business. They formed an alliance with the Grumpy Boars and made a variety of deals, selling ammo, bombs and oil. They fixed their relationship with their former bosses, the Black Star Corporation, and developed a complex love-hate relationship with Kamazi. Naturally, Tensions escalated after the marauders seized control of the oil well and blew up the base of Kamazi. What happens next? Only the golden ball knows. <clears throat> up next, the grumpy boars, a barbaric faction of survivalists and mutant hunters. Their progress was slow, but somehow they managed to build a radio and make some friends. Our field reporter Masha Kovalchuk is now live in the company of one of the members of the Boers. Masha, can you hear us? <laughs> Greetings, Vasya. At around 6 a.m. in October 28, the Grumpy Boers, having built their radio successfully, learned the main tasks from the mutant Babushka. Where am I exactly? I do not know. But our team managed to find one of the Grumpy Boer members. This, of course, is a lie. Because everything here is pre-staged and we are um, shooting on a hill near Plovdiv trying to recreate the ambience at Punor quite unsuccessfully but it's okay because we're out of budget anyway. <coughs> I probably shouldn't have said that but it's okay because they don't pay us here on Burger TV. Anyway, so let's continue to our um, special guest tonight, today. Uh, Volcani! Volcanic! Who's got that? What do you want? Volcanic, uh, we have some <laughs> questions for your... Uh, how, how did you find your presentation at, at the... At the, uh, at the, uh, at the event? Some? No, no, thank you, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, it was not special, just a bit of pew pew, a bit of blood guts and sh** everywhere, some mutant guts, the usual, you know? <laughs> yeah, but the mutant babushka wanted to... <laughs> The Newton Babushka wanted to make you a soup. Yeah, we've, she reached to us by the radio. We followed her to her lair and she made a good ass fucking soup. And weren't you afraid of the consequences? What, what happened? What consequences? That shit was tasty. It just made us buffer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, you you sure? Yeah, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, you had a great fight with Kamasi, I think. Yeah, that was good. We kicked their ass. Uh, no, actually, they did. Uh, succeed in the in the explo with the bunker explosions. They what? They succeeded. With they blew up what? <laughs> Get the f out of here! That f camera. Uh, was this scripted? Oh, that's it. Definitely not scripted. Anyway, we received a letter from the Black Star Corporation. Here is what they said. Uh, after some intense hard pass, we made some allies and managed to track down our boss. Initially, we stayed away from conflicts and focused on assembling the golden ball. As things escalated, we had no choice but to fight Kamazi and try to prevent a full zone collapse. We made an elaborate ambush along with Wind of Death and the Grumpy Boars. We couldn't prevent the bunker bombing, however we did manage to secure the golden ball and made a wish for an everlasting zone. And now, the bandits. God! No, 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 we, we can't talk about that. What the hell, bro? Uh, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty clear, clear in the contract. Uh, if you expose our plans, we will gut you uh, like fish and hang you by your 
Intestitens. Intestitens? In, in, no, it's intestines. I, in, in te, i, i, intentitens. Intestines. Uh, up next, wind of death. We have one of them on the phone. Hello, can you hear me? Wind of death? Hello, Vasya. Yes, perfectly. Well, apart from chasing mutants, gambling, shooting and looting, we were involved with the Grumpy Boars and Black Star Corporation. We were plotting some crazy schemes and agreements with Kamazi and the patrons. We built our base pretty quickly and soon enough we started working on our new business, Asponica. It's something between a spa center and a hospital. Rashka, you mentioned the word crazy. Some people didn't actually want to mess with you, claiming that you're lunatics. How do you feel about that? Nah, they were reacting. By the way, my name is Rashka. But anyway, if people thought we were so crazy, they wouldn't have tried and asked for more of our special goods. Strictly business, I promise. Nothing against the law. And even though Kamazi blew up the former hospital in which we felt like prisoners, we did kinda turn against them and join the rest of the factions in the ambush. Why though? Cause fuck Kamazi, that's why. Ah, my leg! Fuck! Why am I always doing this? Um, uh, now our next caller, the supreme leader of the Red Star organization. Hello, sir. Can you hear us? Can you tell us about your faction? Moving on with the infamous bounty hunters, the patrons, also known as the bullets. They made a stable alliance with the mentally challenged wind of death and the fanatical white dogs and together engaged in large-scale trade of illegal substances. They accomplished all of their tasks and waged war on the bandits in a stealthy manner leaving a trail of decapitated and scalped corpses. Speaking of fanatics, the zealots from the White Dogs performed amicably. They gathered a trove of treasures, built a strong base, killed a lot of mutants and with their teeth forged the legendary artifact, the Knife of the White, which allowed them to fulfill their holy mission of clearing the zone of mutants. Here is some footage that they sent us.
Last but not least, an unbiased opinion from Kamazi. We had a good time. We exploded stuff. The truck is fine and working after our raid at the bunker. The zone was destroyed. We made some friends and some not friends. We lost some people, but that is fine because we are explodable. I mean, expendable. So yes, good times. We had a blast. And now, a word from our sponsors. Rebel Scouts Camp, the best youth camp out there. Send your children to our Rebel Scouts Camp, the place where boys become men and girls become women through voluntary labor. They will learn discipline, respect, pure love and dedication for the Communist Party. Send your children now and we will proudly deliver them back to you as full-grown adults. Rebel Scouts Camp, it's safe from radiation, it's safe from harm, it's safe from our never-ending war with capitalism. Rebel Scouts Camp, it's safe here. And now what? Going somewhere safe. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs>